G'day YouTube. So, we're out in the shed again tonight. Having a bit of a tinker around and catching up on other people's videos and answering some comments and things like that. As I tend to do when I'm processing cells. Some laptop cells and some AEG ones and some Milwaukee ones. Just trying to get all processed so that I can get them all graded and put through the tester. I'm currently testing the ones we pulled out of these 15 amps. No, 15. 9 amps, the 15 cells put out these 9 amps the other day. One of my uh, Clever Cookie subscribers, he knows who he is, said to me, why don't you keep them as cell holders? So that's what we're doing. I'm just going to take the BMS off. Just a couple of screws up here. Now I've got this awesome cell case, which holds 15, 18, 650s with space to solder straight on the tabs on the outside of them. They screw together. How simple is that? So I could make bricks of 15 into a power, which is what I'm going to do with all the 9 amp shells that we get from now on. So they're going to go up here on the shelf for a day when we're going to build A modular kind of pack and we get 15 in each of these I know you can get 20 in these 4x5s that we all use but you got to buy them and I haven't seen anyone mass produce them cheap enough for me to be happy wasting them or you know, burning through them like you do I know uh, Pete over at HB Power will has bought a truckload of them. I'm almost more inclined to do it like average Joe did with his um, PVC. But uh, I believe that took him a long time. Uh, and a lot, of, a lot of sticky fingers gluing them all together with some super glue kind of stuff. But as for modular and simple, it doesn't get much better than that. And I think all the screws are still sitting on the bench here. They would be. If not, something good enough can be used. So we'll just put two in them. Alrighty. But yeah, I just basically wanted to uh, say I read all your comments. I normally reply and like all of your comments. And if I'm not subscribed to your channels, if you've got one, notify me that I'm not, and I will. I love watching other people's content. It's the whole reason I started on YouTube myself. Look at that cell brick. 15 cell brick. Can't argue with that. It means it doesn't go into landfill, it means it gets used for something else. I'm by no means a uh, crazed greenie. I love cars, but I also love electric vehicles. So, uh, don't get the wrong impression when you say, when you hear me say things like I like to recycle things or reuse things. I don't like to send things off to be recycled. Australia, we've got a big issue at the moment because China stopped buying all our rubbish apparently. But what I like to do is reuse stuff, upcycle stuff, like this. If a uh, little idea wasn't plunked into my head by Chris, I probably wouldn't have done this. So, thanks mate. That easy. Awesome little 15 cell bricks. So we'll process a bunch more of them, no doubt. In the future. Once we get a pile of them stacked up, you'll see them in a future video. Getting something made out of them. It's been forever since I've processed laptop batteries. Like, literally forever. I haven't got any in a long time. The guy that was getting them off started wanting like a six pack of beers for two laptop cells. And for the cells you get out of them, most of, them, most of the ones I was getting from are six cell packs. Get the old nine cell one that was 15 years old. Like some piece of crap laptop. Or they'd come with prismatics. They really weren't worth it for me. Um, so I'll just wait until he's got a massive pile and go in there and offer him a much smaller sum 
of cash because he is keeping them for me still. He's just not going to see me for a while. We've kind of created our own, our own demise with the uh, power wall and second life storage forums and things like that. It's good because uh, all these cells were going in landfill. Would never have considered a laptop battery to be something valuable. Now, now that you've uh, seen what they can do, Pete's power wall is amazing. Um, Daniel from DIY Tech and Repairs, his power wall is insane. And uh, just keeps getting bigger from the last time I was watching his videos. Average Joe's getting 10 kilowatt. Got, well, he's got a 10 kilowatt wall, which is uh, absolutely killing it. And he's done it a little bit different to everyone else with his home main holders and all that kind of stuff. He's gone with the glass axial fuses. Um, yeah. I'm uh, keen to build myself a power wall so that through winter we've got that bit of extra storage. Oh, and uh, I've got to build one for a camper van. And uh, it's not going to be like the one Jehu built for... Uh, what are they called? The Combi Adventures. Combi Life. Those guys. Because that one uh, over-discharged and was the end of its story, I believe. They don't, they don't, they don't go into much about it, but anyway, we're, uh, it's something that's going to be watched daily, um, and used daily in the, uh, van we're building it for, so, uh, not a big issue, but it'll help, uh, a good friend of mine travelling around Australia power his, uh, power his computer for all his video editing, and drones, and, uh, cameras, shooting, advertising material and stuff like that for people all over Australia at the moment and uh, he needs more power lead acid is failing him uh, a couple of overcast days and he's got to start the van up and let it idle which uh, isn't a very sustainable thing it's crap for the environment there's no point running a I think it might be a 4 litre diesel to uh, charge batteries he's got an inverter gen set but same story like there's no point running something a reciprocating petrol engine just to charge a uh, couple of crappy seals when uh, we can chuck a bigger solar panel a charge controller and a lithium bank in his bus and uh, really get him going also going to probably make a, a DC to DC step up converter so that when he's got the bus running he can actually really really plow the power into it like a DC to DC charge system because um, he does drive it obviously he's traveling around Australia but um, those of you in the States Australia is quite a reasonably big country with a fair bit of distance in between everything it's like it's well spread out you got the East Coast which is very populated but then uh, get towards the center and west you've got vast distances before you um, Get to somewhere to stop, refuel, and yeah, power up. So, burning diesel for the sake of uh, charging a couple of dead batteries is pretty pointless. And he said, What do we have to do to make a battery? I said, Give me a target size and we'll make one. So, version one, which will be the uh, updated version of this beast which will be my power wall will be the test pilot and then by October I've got to have built for when he gets here and you'll see his uh, stick that in his van got to have that built for him so I need all the cells I can get in the meantime my power power tool repair guy is going to get a uh, carton of beer as a bonus um, this week sometime and uh, that should keep him happy, keep him grabbing cells, and, uh, well, batteries, full batteries, and, uh, yeah, now we've got a Bunnings in our local area, there'll be probably quite a few extra batteries that, um, will be bought, because, uh, these are AEG, so there'll be, uh, more of these AEG cells popping up, which might not have been there before. Which would be cool because uh, 
more is more. I've already cut myself. I've been doing this for like 10 minutes. Cut myself already. Um, yeah, so I'll still be getting the, uh, the normal old Milwaukee cells. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these 15 M's. I've got a truckload of them now. Um, I haven't done a great deal with them. I've got to go through the pile. I'll make a video. I might even do a live stream while I'm going through the uh, great big box of 18650s. One evening. If uh, if you're not too bored, you might want to watch it. And we'll go through the giant boxes. Like I've got crates of them. Is uh, That's the empty one of the crates because that's got all 20 except for the obvious grey one that's in there but they're all 20 R's Samsung's these are all out of power tool batteries look at them all it's just craziness and they're just on the floor in the shed gathering dust so I've got to do something with them I've got to process all these yet got a pile of them I've got to do some playing around with the decibel meter I want to go out and re-review my compressors and uh Compare direct drives and belt drives and all that kind of stuff. We've got this pile over here. Minus that one, that's a brand new 9 amp. I don't know why I put that near those ones. Brand new 9 amp I bought. Um, these ones are all weak or something wrong with. They need sorting. Just for the sake of it, we can separate these and do something with them. 17, 670s. Uh, they're not high on the priority list. Um, but yeah, I've got a bunch more 20 R's. I'll be debating on whether I use 20 R's or the previously mentioned. No, I won't build a power wall out of them. They're too good. We'll use them for something more important. But yeah, we'll see if we can't fix those. I'd much rather fix one or two of those. It's using my uh, brush cutter. Even if it's a bit shitter, I've got to charge it with a lipo charger. Which I've got another one coming of as well. This has just turned into a channel update. This is just an everything. So, we'll, look, if you're still here, enjoy. But uh, if you're not, I, I can't blame you too much. I'm kind of rambling now. Another IMAX dead. I don't know why. Let's pull it apart right now. Have a look inside. All I can tell you is smoke came out of it. Uh, I think it's a fake one anyway. Pretty sure it's a fake one. It was cheap. But I'm sick of uh, lipo chargers dying. So I've chosen a completely different brand I've never seen before. Obviously, uh, I told you guys about my... What brand was it? Antimatter. That's all that's left of the antimatter. That's her. She's cooked. If you own an antimatter... Those moth sets in there, FETs, whatever they're called, cook because they've just got this thermal putty on them. Throw that stuff in the bin. Put some proper thermal paste, like the stuff you use on GPUs, on them. Where it connects to its big heat takeoff heatsink. That is thermal paste I'll put on there for something else. Just using it as a heatsink. But, um, yeah, that doesn't have any of that. It's just got these stupid little pads. Uh, they work for a while and they will take heat out and you can feel heat blow off the aluminium heatsink. But they're obviously not as effective as the pastes that uh, the GPUs use because GPUs, are, GPUs use them. Um, and we all know how hot they get, especially in a mining or similar situation. Alright, let's get this thing apart and see where the smoke's come out. One thing you do get out of all these, which is cool, is you can unsolder that and get the um, balance lead plugs, sockets, sockets, and the banana sockets, plugs, sockets, sockets, learn anatomy, and uh, away you go. Some scrap aluminium. No oh, buttons. Should have known that. That's not the first one I've pulled apart. Oh, you can see it. Bloody little ICD on the bottom there. 
That's where the smoke come out. So uh, that's why that's dead. Another one down. Geez, the board looks good compared to the other copy ones I had. I don't know if I've still got one of them somewhere, but if I do, I'll dig it out and we'll compare one day. Let's pull this off. Sorry about the fan noise, it's the uh, power supply running the light bar above our heads so that we can see what we're doing out in the dark old grey shed. It's quite dark and gloomy outside otherwise. So uh, you would not be able to see anything out here. Same story with the FETs, this is what I was talking about. This is these little thermal pads. I'm sure they like they do they definitely work, they've got to do something. But uh, compared to good thermal paste they don't don't really hold up. Where was that? And like these couple here are actually the thermal pads are sitting on the actual open grill part of the heatsink. Like it's just shit design. Sadly. Only a copy I guess, but poor design doesn't do them any justice. I could go ahead and replace that. It's not worth the time for me. I'm not that good with a soldering iron. I can be, but I'm not that good with a soldering iron in general. And uh, that's very delicate work. That's aluminium scrap now, which is always good because uh, why dig metal out of the ground over and over again when you can scrap bits and pieces. I want to do a whole series on scrap stuff because um, one I know a fair bit about it. I used to work in the industry when I was having a break from plumbing and uh, two there's money to be made at the same time as environmental wins, I guess you could say. I'm not going to call them major wins, but like environmental wins on the, uh, in reference to not digging it out of the ground just because you threw it in, back in the ground when you were done with it. Because that's just stupid. Look at these. These, these peel apart so good. If you watched my video about pulling the 9 amps apart the other day, you'll understand why I'm stoked with this. It's really easy to jag those edges there. We've nearly got a side stripped already. Don't be scared to light the screwdriver up. Just make sure you can get it unstuck. If you can't get it unstuck, you're in a world of pain. Preferably do it where there's nothing that can uh, be set on fire from what you're doing because uh, that in an explosive environment will be no fun. But anyway, I'm going to keep pulling these apart, guys. Thanks heaps for watching. If you're still here, subscribe buttons are over here. If you can subscribe to my automotive channel if you're not on it already, that'd be awesome. I'm trying to give that a bit of a boost so I can make more videos over there and uh, keep getting free stuff to uh, review for you guys. For me, build a workshop, and then we'll just be able to do more stuff in general. I'd love to make this a career one day. We'll try. Um, it's not going to happen overnight with the way ads get served on videos, but uh, if we can get the other channel re monetized, that will help with the costs of filming and doing things. Which, if you uh, own a computer or pay for a phone or pay for the internet, you understand this costs. But I enjoy the community. Thank you very much for watching all of you. Thanks, Chris, for the idea with the uh, keeping the 15 cell holders. I'm going to keep pulling these apart until we've got a bucket full of these and need processing. And I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, guys. Thanks heaps for watching.